Ooh, a Game Boy. Oh my side of Columbus um, where he had like he, I wouldn't believe you couldn't believe the amount of Star Wars stuff he had like on the walls and lunch boxes and was everything he the guy? It's, it was a really small place and really it was small packed. place but you had an aisle that you could walk in and yeah. it was like an L uh -huh. and like you could find anything you wanted as long as you were willing to okay. you know wait for him to dig it out which I might think, take a couple of weeks yeah, you know depending yeah. on what kind of mood he, you know I've met him, yeah, he's kind of quiet, and yeah, he, yeah, I noticed the moods, he would be, sometimes he's super generous, and sometimes he's like, oh, uh, Well, everybody can get like that up there, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you, you think you buy something that you're going to make a lot of money on, and then you get stuck, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, then, uh, you know, I bought from him for years, and then, uh, right after, a, uh, I heard he had a heart attack right after they had the big fire in Columbus. I don't know if that's what triggered it, losing everything in the store, or, oh, no. you know, it's a shame if it is, you know, um, but that fire was a big, that fire, I mean, you gotta imagine all the Star Wars stuff, all that old 1970s plastic, yeah, yeah. when that got around in there. There was a lot of amazing stuff in there, I had no idea that his stuff burned down. Yeah, they, it was right there, in, it was a whole central, like the magazine shop and every, everything that's got a new shop. Yeah, yeah was part of that except for the Wachowski's um, bologna kitchen so yeah but so he why did he bury stuff in the backyard that's like what interests me he the didn't, most he didn't bury it like, well, what's going on then what it is I think he would just buy huge lots of uh, toys and stuff like that yeah put it in uh, plastic trash bags and set it back there thinking he was gonna get to it uh -huh. and then just year after year you get layer after layer after layer uh -huh. You know, and it sinks down. Yeah. And you know, when Dan and I said it's like digging through, uh, the old black thing. Whenever it's like uh, digging right. down through the layers, that's what it is. Like you'll hit like a clean layer where the trash bag stayed intact. Yeah. And you're like, oh wow, a whole bag full, you know. And then it's just digging through parts and okay. you know, you'll you'll see it when you get there. It's um, and then also I think what happened where where the pile was located. 
the foliage and everything eventually grew over top of it. Okay. And that's also what gave it, like, Dan saying that it was buried in the... Like, there was a one spot where Bruce had to get down and, like, crawl into the, um... Crawl into the, I guess, uh, grapevine. Yeah. And he pulled out, like, a whole bag of Nintendo controllers that were still, like, brand new. Oh, wow. Yeah, it, 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 it's... It's weird like that. Like, we'd find... We'd be digging down. Dan was up to his hips in it. And, um... He dug out a whole bag of Ninja Turtles accessories. Uh -huh. Where everything else was, like, completely falling apart. The bag was pristine and it was just full. Wow. You know, it, it, it was a deal like that. I mean... Right. I, I, he made it sound like he was out there digging holes. Yeah, I thought you guys were out there with that. shovels, man. I was like, holy well, crap. Well, you, you can actually... I, I think you can actually dig... Because that's what, that's what they're doing now. They're, like, digging just loads of the stuff out and putting it in bins and dumping it on a tarp uh -huh. to try to get it cleared out. Because now they're getting to the point where they have to get it done. Everything that they're selling there, I believe, goes for the state taxes and all that other, you know. Uh -huh. And the guy had multiple properties. And from, you know, what I hear, you know, it's hearsay, but people that lived in the other properties stole a lot of stuff that was in the attics of the places, uh -huh. yeah. you know, where he used it for storage. Um, you know, being as Columbus is the closest flea market, you know, they've actually, we've actually seen a lot of it, like, oh, out wow. on the tables up there, you know. But you can't, it, unfortunately, you can't cover everything. You know, they're from down south, so coming back up, it's like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You have to rely on people to let them know, you know, if they hear anything shady, and then they can send, you know, the authorities or whatever... But like I said, you know, I get along with them real nice. I've been talking to them since they've been coming up and, you know. That's why I said, you know, be real gentle with the perching of the camera. Oh, yeah, I will. I'm not <laughs> going to bust out with the camera right away. We'll just come out. I'll see how yeah, it goes. Yeah, just go see how busy it is and see, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Ooh, a Game Boy. Oh, my God. Oh yeah, totally. Oh, yeah. But see, it's just like there's GameCube lying everywhere. And if you needed a GameCube shell or you know, some controller shells just for. Yeah, wow. I'm definitely gonna dig through that. Jeez, the N64. I almost feel bad stepping on it. But I guess it doesn't matter at this point. No, if you see something you want to grab, just reach out. And grab it. Uh, and you never know. Grab the N64s and look at them. If they're not rusty on the inside, you might be able to do something with them. Okay. Yeah, I mean the shells I could probably use, even for maybe art or something. Yeah, what's a little. So, digging up some Genesi, PlayStation eyes. There's a... This guy. Yeah, almost. I mean, they're worth like five bucks in okay condition. She lost it. Damn. I wish there was a Sega CD in here somewhere. Thank you, Grandpa, for all the work in this. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah, he'll be happy about that one. Yeah, all I see are 
We can take out that load that we got there. And... Okay. a shame.
Okay, it's super hot. I think we're gonna call it a day soon. Um, as you can see, all this stuff, they're getting out of here in like two days, so I don't know what's gonna happen to all this stuff, but we're trying to rescue as much as we can. Uh, whew, it's like one of the hottest days of the summer. All right, so how many hours were we there? Uh, we got there a uh, quarter after nine and we're leaving now at uh, 11.30. Ooh, hopefully, right. hopefully I can get back to the house and get out to see Laura before she kicks my butt. <laughs> yes, my lady is also waiting and uh, I might have some poison ivy. But um, yeah, we got a hell of a tan. We lost like 50 pounds each. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just uh, get yourself some Clorox bleach and wash your arms in it. It'll... Yeah, Clorox bleach. Yeah, either that or uh, jump in a pool with a lot of chlorine. Oh yeah, my neighbor's pool. I'm not even gonna ask. <laughs> That's one of the hazards of uh, jumping through a pile of shit like yeah. that. <laughs> Crap oh like that. God. I told you. I dug in there too, man. Like in the back well, by the house. That's, you saw what we meant, right? That you think there's many levels yeah. of... There's layer after layer. Alright, so we were there for a couple hours, like Mel said. Um, <clears throat> I'm on my way home now. Got a lot of stuff. Um, for like 30 bucks. One of them is a Sega CD with the Genesis in it. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. Um, which is pretty much what that's worth, I think. <clears throat> so yeah, I didn't film the people selling there because they're... Um, oh, they didn't really want to be filmed. And I don't know why, but you know, what are you gonna do? But they're really nice people. Uh, some of them uh, are from, I think, North Carolina, they said. So yeah, I wish I got to film them because uh, it's a really interesting story about, like, the guy that passed away and, you know, how, like, he left all that stuff over and, you know, all that good stuff. So um, I'll get his full name or whatever and mention it later just to kind of uh, keep the guy's memory alive because this was his life, you know, and now like all this stuff is left over so um you know and he's gone and all this is getting sold and you know that's it not not a trace left you know of the poor guy but um i actually remember the guy he used to have a store at columbus market before it burned down uh, mel was saying that earlier but um i didn't you know i didn't know that was the same guy and you know i realized the store was gone I was like oh I guess he you know closed shop but turns out that after the fire you know he had a heart attack or whatnot and um, you know he's gone and all his stuff was burned down his best stuff anyway because that was what was in the store so yeah that's it um, <clears throat> Okay, so I got all this stuff in the house, um, I'm cleaning it, washing it, just took it in the bathtub, took all the heavy stuff out, and now I'm gonna go through everything with a fine toothbrush and, uh, you know, wash it all out and see how it goes, and I'll show you guys the end result. So, I finished cleaning all the... NES games that I got from the dig um, I'll show you guys these are some of the ones I have uh, the uh, what do you call them that part in there they seem pretty clean so I left these guys just need to clean them up a little bit so yeah Metroid bunch of bunch of stuff good ones these still need to be a little bit cleaned up uh, let's see have a bunch of these cleaned all of these up probably gonna put them on eBay and this aisle right here that's all the games that he had they were all waterlogged so can't really use them I'll take them apart whatever I can preserve I'll see if I can preserve them but just gonna use these cases for um, you know for like art projects and stuff like that. So yeah, a lot of them, as you can see.
project which I'll show you guys eventually and there's a phone call okay phone call over um all right so uh, yeah so all this stuff is uh, awesome um, I washed it all thoroughly it was crazy it took about two days to clean it all up it took time to dry and all that stuff so um, Anyway, so yeah, uh, there was a little issue with the, okay, um, I was gonna shoot like um, at Columbus Flea Market, I was gonna shoot with a drone, and my friend Chris came out, he has a nice drone, and we actually got a lot of awesome shots going, and unfortunately, um, the video feed on his uh, drone cut out, so when we were doing like an overshot, oh, um, a shot over overhead shot of um, the flea market it kind of went into the trees and disappeared um, it kind of went into the trees we were looking for it for like I don't know maybe over an hour uh, there was a little creek there we probed that with a stick um, I went into like six foot grasslands uh, I don't know I, I had like a migraine and felt sick for like two days afterwards probably got something I don't know um, I'm okay now though, uh, but yeah, we couldn't find it. So we're thinking maybe someone either stole it by the time we, or by the time we managed to get there or whatever. I don't know, but yeah, I'm, I'm, it's really sucks, man. The guy lost like a thousand dollar drone <laughs> just to shoot this stupid little YouTube video for me, um, just a couple of shots. So uh, Chris, we'll we'll hook you up, man. I'll I'll try to get something for you. Uh, probably try to replace it or whatever it's uh i mean holy shit so yeah but anyway enough of that um 
Yeah, so all this stuff for 30 bucks, minus a thousand dollar drone. Um, uh, great story about this guy that um, passed away. Um, no, it's not. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, there's going to be more in the future. There's going to be more um, uh, interesting stories in places like this. That's pretty much what my channel is going to be about. It's um, what it is about. It's about, you know, toys that I dig up who knows where. They're not exactly in mint condition, but, you know, uh, they shouldn't disappear into the, what do you call it, a landfill. Uh, you know, they can be restored. There's stuff that can be used and, uh, you know, these things look all right. Some I'll keep, some I'll sell on eBay and uh, continue this journey of uh, rescuing these things and telling you guys some interesting stories about uh, people and, you know, where all this interesting stuff happens. So yeah, toys, old video games, um, but my channel is about the stories of where they come from, the people they come from, and, uh, you know, the journey <laughs> that they went through to end up right here on this table and uh, maybe on other people's tables or collections so yeah hope you guys enjoyed uh take care definitely subscribe and definitely uh thumbs up because this is the beginning this is pretty much episode one so uh hope i get your support uh thank you